Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. My name is Captain Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you my current setup of my Anon. I'm going to start making the connections and also load the software Thetis. Here is my current setup. I got my Anon currently turned backwards. First, I'm going to install Antenna 1, make the connection of uh, the BNC and also the PL259. We're going to connect that to the HF Auto. It's a Palstar HF Auto and I'll be utilizing my 0543 foot antenna. Welcome to my desktop guys. Okay. This is my first time loading Thetis. I haven't never loaded it before. I'm loading it from scratch and uh, I got some insight on a pre-release version. Where do we get the manual? Let me show you where to get the manual. Go to, to your web browser, your favorite web browser, and just type Thetis Manual. T-H-E-T-I-S. You need to know how to spell Thetis. And uh, Manual. Download. And it's right there. Because I looked at it before. This is from Apache Labs. And uh, it's the very first link here. So you just click on it. It automatically downloads it. Right there. When downloads complete, it's going to go in your downloads folder. Take a look. There it is. Just double click on it. And there it is. I don't even have it a PDF format. It just pops up on the uh, web browser. All right, that's the manual for Thetis. What I'm basically going to show you is where to download it, and we're going to install it. So there's a link right here: installing and using Thetis. You can use this link here, GitHub. Okay, you when you click on that, it tells you this is the latest version. This is a working version. It's Thetis version 2.9.0. And what you're looking for is the MSI installer. This is only for Windows operating systems. And uh, sorry, Mac, I'm also a Mac user. You can't uh, run it on the Macintosh. But uh, here's some sneak peek information, right? So this is version 2.9.0. We also have a pre-release version. I got it from one of my buddies. He has the insight on uh, Thetis software. And this is version 2.9.0.8. It's a pre-release. Let's get to it. Here it is, Thetis version 2908. So I'm just going to click it once and it starts to download. All right, downloads complete. Now I'm going to go to my folder where I store my downloads. There's a Thetis manual here, and this is the operating system or the installer. I'm going to do a right mouse click and open the file. I normally would run it as an administrator, but in this case, I right mouse click and I didn't see that option. So let's run it anyways. Right here, run it anyway. All right, I have a 64 bit setup. Continue. Next. I want you to read all this. Click on that little box right here, accept it, click next. All right, we got a typical installation here. Installs the most common program features recommended for most users. And then we have a custom. This one allows users to choose which program features will be installed and where they are or they will be installed. That's recommended for advanced users. And then we have a complete. All program features will be installed. Requires the most disk space. Let's click on the complete install. Install. 
You know what? It's going to load in my C drive. Let me back that up. I want to I want to install it in my D drive. So I, I just cancel the installation. I want to redo it again. Theta software. Open. Next. Remember to read all that. Click on that box. Click next. I'm going to customize it. Because I want to locate it to my D drive. Well, let me just type it in and see if this works. I want to install it just like that. All right, it's called Thetis. Next. Click install to begin installation. And then click yes. I hope it's installing the complete version because I didn't select complete, right? I wanted to specifically move it to my D drive. And I think it's finished. On your desktop, it's right here. It's Thetis. I'm going to double click on it. It's doing more installation. It's doing that FFT operations and it will take about 10 to 30 minutes. All right, I'm back. I went out to water the grass, water the lawn. And the first thing that pops up, it's the application is already open. I like it where you can just resize it. Just like that. Now I need to connect the radio using an ethernet via a suitable router capable of a gigabyte speed i do have a router it's uh behind this desk but uh, i bought something else uh, instead of connecting it to the router i'm going to connect this new cable this is a special that i i saw on amazon it's a cat 8 ethernet cable for router gaming and modem the unboxing of the cat 8 they even have uh, protectors look at that see the protectors on the uh, rj45 connect the ethernet cable to the front of the anon i want to take the other end and connect it to my ethernet port that's located behind the PC and the next thing now it says to connect an antenna to antenna one terminal of your radio so remember I think it was a six feet or eight feet jumper cable from BNC to PL259 so I have that connected and that's uh, antenna one behind the anon that cable is going to the input of my HF Auto from Palstar and on antenna number one I'm going to verify that I have the antenna and I'm going to be using the 0543 foot vertical continuing on we have to connect speakers or headphones to the radio I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because it's a phono plug there's a left and a right um, jack for the phono plugs but uh, I'm wondering if I can get the audio coming through the category cat cat 8 cable to the PC and then play audio that way through my PC speakers on both ends of the uh, the desk so I'm going to continue on without connecting any speakers directly to the anon box now power up the radio which I already did Oh, we're going to go click menu and the setup. Let's minimize this. All right. So you're looking at the pre-release version, Thetis 2.9.0.8 setup under the general tab. Okay. We need to look for our radio model and what we have here is a 7000 DLE. 
It doesn't matter if it's the uh, Mark II or Mark III. I'm not going to do any kind of hardware options here. I'm going to leave this thing all static. So I'm not resetting database, importing, or exporting anything. This is a fresh scratch install of Thetis. So let me try to apply. Click OK. I just powered it on. Wow. Look, 40 meters extra class. Now let's see what's going on with the uh, 7.200 club. Like I said, I don't have any audios. There's no audio coming out. So let me take a look at the setup. Audio. And perhaps uh, I might have to use a virtual audio cable. I hear something coming out of my speakers now. I think I think you can hear it as well. Here you go. Hey, how about that? I don't know a lot about I got the unarmed working. There's a little bit of static in there, you can hear it, but when it puts noise reduction, yeah, listen to it. What happened to me? And I, I you know, you're more experienced with it. Uh, I'm gonna push the noise reduction. The toilet started backing up. I was pumping it down with the plunger and that kind of That's noise reduction the first one. And then NR2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, mine is bubbling up a little bit towards the drain field. And, uh, it cut out a lot of the static noise. And I knew what was going on. So uh, I tried everything, and I just called them up, had it pumped out, and we ordered the drain field back. Noise reduction uh, off. Did my thing. But when they pump it out, they're really good out here. It, it, it ain't too bad. I'm city, impressed got, for I I what I have now. All right. So the volume control is right here. In the manual, it told you to start out at 20 and the master audio frequency to 20. You just use a slider. Kind of sensitive. Um, you can also use a scroll wheel like this. When you're hovering over the audio frequency or the sliders you can utilize the scroll wheel right here as you're hovering to change the value and then when you're out of the field outside the uh the slider area if you're outside of that then you can use your up and down wheel to scroll your frequency look up here see the frequency scrolling by 10 10 hertz Vertical to work on, but this noise reduction. Uh, noise reduction. I did get a new toy though. I haven't told you about this. Cleans up the signal pretty well. The AGC slider, where is that? You see that green line? That's what it's telling you to move the AGC slider. So we want to put that slider just above the local ambient noise just above the noise level maybe can we grab it from here you can also grab it from here just above the ambient noise i think just like that you can use a slider or you can just grab this little box right here okay this is the pass band this light gray area here you're tuning with this red so the red is your actual frequency I know this video might be long, so I'm just going to skip some parts here, guys. Look at the CPU utilization at the bottom left. If this is high, for example, 50% or more, the program may not behave as expected. The principal way to reduce CPU loading is to reduce the sample rate of data being passed 
from radio to PC and look at the section 612, this will make a huge difference. Now with my system, I have maybe 2% max. There is 1% and then there is 2%. Uh, I'm also using OBS. This program OBS, it uses a lot of CPU. So this is good. I like how he has the CPU usage, your current voltage that's being um, sensed in the radio, the amperage, and which antenna you're using. A lot of good information here. Go to setup, the tab for transmit. Default, it was a uh, user driver slider, but I'm going to use a recommendation to use a fixed drive of 10 watts of power. I'm going to attempt to tune. I'm using the default setting of 10 watts of power, and we're going to click tune. I'm using the Alstar HF Auto down below. Let me see if it'll tune. Okay, you hear that noise? The power line noise? It's really bad here. So let me try to tune now. 1.15 If you guys are uh, interested and see what kind of protocol version you have, your firmware version, you go to setup and you see it right here. My firmware is um, protocol 1 version 2.8 and the ID is the Orion Mark Two. This is a very nice radio. Um, it's very powerful. It eliminates a lot of the noise that I have here at my station. And uh, let me give you an example of that. All right. So the anon is currently in the off position. Well, it's on, but the software is off. I, I I'm going to turn it on by this button up here in the upper left. Listen to the noise, okay? We're on uh, 75 meters. Yeah, you hear that noise? That's power line noise. And to eliminate that, this is very powerful. This noise blanker right here, I, NB1. It's gone. Noise blanker two, okay. And then noise blanker none. Back to zero. Look at my noise floor. It's about an S9 right here in the upper right corner. It's an S9 noise floor. With zero dB attenuation right here. Zero dB. That's what I have to live with. Y you hear that static? Okay, noise blanker one is enabled. Now, if you hear adjacent stations, you can use this um, width. We'll go to the variable. You can narrow it down. So you narrow it down and that uh, adjacent station is not in your pass band. Okay, uh, uh, looking back west, anybody else for the native net want to get checked in? Kilo 4, Romeo, Julia, Tango. Yeah. There's a lot of features here. I, I'm not going to go over everything. I'm new to this. I just wanted to show you guys um, the, the basics to get it installed. I'm surprised how easy it was to get it installed. All right, guys. Well, I was a little bit nervous um, trying to make my connections. And with a little bit of courage, uh, I went ahead and took the dive and just go ahead and make the connections from the Anon to the computer, my antenna input to a Palastar HF Auto, and from the HF Auto to my 0543 foot vertical. Everything worked fine 
it connected, it found the Anon 7000 DLE without a hitch. As you notice, and you watch my previous videos here at my location in Florida, that RFI noise, that power line noise, it, it's a pain in the ass. So I need to have some good, sweet Southern iced tea. I hope you enjoyed my video. It's more of like entertainment. Watch me go through the steps, troubleshoot, listen to the audio. I hope you got the idea of setting it up. My name is Captain Darren. Until next video, 73s and have a great day.